Hello everyone and welcome to Luminar Coffee Break. I'm Angela Andrew and today I'd like to show you how to retouch individuals inside of a group photo. So one of the challenging things when you're looking at a group photo is not everybody needs the same amount of retouching. So when you're looking at an image, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, like for instance, this particular photo. We have two beautiful angelic children with porcelain skin that need very, very little to retouching. The only thing I really want to do with them is maybe brighten their eyes a little bit. And then we have mom in the middle who really looks quite good, but maybe she needs a little bit more touching up than the kids. I'm going to walk you through how to do this inside Luminar AI with just Luminar AI. And I'm also going to show you how to do it with Photoshop and give you that option as well in case you have Photoshop. It's a bit easier and quicker if you have Photoshop, but it can be done if all you have is Luminar AI. I want to take a moment and say hello to Russell, Joseph, Claire, and Pat. So glad you guys are all able to join me today. Let's, let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm going to start with a template and we're going to go to our main templates menu and I'm going to go down to the close-ups category and choose brush up. And this is a great all around portrait template because it's smooth skin. It does some really nice things and it gets us a really nice starting point. There's not a whole lot else we need to do to this image, but we can go in here and take a look at our portrait tools and see what's done and maybe refine it just a little bit. I'm going to take a look here at the before and the after. Now, if you notice, there's a really subtle body slimming going on on this little young one over here on the left, and he doesn't need it. So I'm going to go to body AI and I'm just going to reset that tool. Next, we'll take a look at face AI and there is a little bit of slim face being used. I don't think any of these subjects need that either. So I'm just going to remove that and pull that slider down to zero. We take a look here at the chat. If you guys have any questions as we go through, let me know, put them in the chat. I keep an eye on that as we go through and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Okay. So now that we have those couple of body slimming things turned off, we can take a look here at where we've been so far. So here's the before and the after. Now I'm going to go down here under the eyes category and I'm going to pull down on the dark circles remover and get rid of that. I don't really think any of these, the kids need this. Mom needs it a little bit, but we'll do that a little bit later. But I do want to add a little bit of flair to the eye and bring up the eye enhancer a little bit more just to give their eyes a little bit more sparkle. And let's see here. I think that's pretty good. Let's go down to skin AI and take a look at that. I might pull up the shine removal a hair. That looks good. And then let's go ahead and turn this off and then back on again. And I like what it's done to the kids' faces, but I think mom could use a little bit more. So I'm actually gonna pull that back a tiny bit and I'm gonna turn off the skin defect or turn on the skin defects removal. And I think that gets us 90% of the way there. Now, what I wanna do next is work a little bit just on mom. So what I'm gonna do is right click on my image and I'm going to export this as a high resolution TIFF and I'm gonna put it into the folder where my original is stored. So that's gonna be, let me go ahead and find it here. It's gonna be on my external hard drive in my Skylum demo library, favorite images. And I believe, let's see here, perhaps it was in Luminar Live Photos, Portraits and Lifestyle, this was the one. Okay, so here's our image. We're gonna do a Pro Photo TIFF, 16 bits, resolution of 300. And I'm gonna go ahead and click save and let that export. Let me take a look here at those comments. Hey, Jerry in German, so glad you were able to join in today. All right, give this just another moment. While that's happening, what we're gonna do is go back to our catalog. We're gonna find that TIFF file that we're creating right now, and we'll work on that TIFF. So that TIFF will have all of the changes that we just made. So let's go back over here to our catalog and find that image that we were just working on. So that's over here under favorite images and actually Luminar Live Photos, portraits and lifestyle. There we go. We scroll down a bit here and we should have two copies of this now. So that is our, let's see here, give me a moment. I believe is the JPEG. No, that's the TIFF. Okay, cool. There's our TIFF. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this. This has that little bit of skin smoothing we already did on the kids, a little bit of sharpening of the eyes. Now we want to add a little bit extra to mom's face. So we're going to go over to edit 
And we're gonna scroll down here to our portrait tools and let's go first to face AI. I wanna go down and I wanna do some dark circles removal just to make sure mom looks like she's got enough rest. So we'll pull that up and just wake mom up a little bit. And I think about there looks good. It's a really subtle change, but let's turn that off and back on again. It just brightens up her face. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it just makes her look a little bit better and I think she'd like it. And so if you're doing portraits, what you wanna make sure is that the subject that you're photographing, that they like the photo. So we wanna make sure mom looks her best. I'm also gonna go down to our skin AI and do just a little bit more of our skin softening here. And that's gonna take it above what we did for the kids. Now, the changes we've made so far are global, meaning they've, got, they've been applied to the entire image. We wanna have them applied just to mom. So what I'm gonna do is grab my masking tool and my paint tool, and I'm just gonna paint these effects in right on mom's face. I'll go ahead and do that. And make sure it's only affecting her. So now as we look at this, we can turn this off and then back on again. And it's a very subtle but powerful change. We've smoothed out her skin a little bit more. And I'm also gonna copy that mask. So I'll go to the ellipses and copy and up to face AI. And I'm gonna paste this just so that under eye brightening is only on mom again. So go to my, my masking brush and I'm gonna paste that mask there as well. And that's gonna remove the effect from the kids because the kids really don't need it. So let's take a look here at the before and the after. The change is just on mom, which is exactly what we wanted. So to do this with Luminar AI exclusively, you wanna first do your edits that are gonna affect everybody. So you're gonna do it with a lighter touch. And then for each individual who needs a little bit more help, you're gonna export a high resolution TIFF and then use those masking tools to apply the effect only to that person. So that's how you would do it if you're working with Luminar AI exclusively. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna right click on this image, actually let me click out of my masking, right click on my image and I'm gonna show this in the finder. And this is gonna bring me to this photo on my hard drive. And this is the original JPEG that's unedited. I'm gonna walk you through doing it in Photoshop because it's a little bit quicker and easier. So I'm gonna right click on this, go to open with, and go to Photoshop 2021. And we'll give that a moment to load up and I'll take a quick look here at our chat. Jerry says the built-in templates are so good. I absolutely agree. And that one called Brush Up is so great for portraits, especially if you just wanna do a quick little touch up. You don't wanna necessarily change the look and feel of the image. You just wanna make it look a bit better. All right, so what I like to do when I'm working in Photoshop is the first thing is I do Command J to go ahead and duplicate my layer. So there we go, now I have another layer and that's the one we're gonna work on. I'll right click on my layer and convert it to a smart object. Now this is key because the smart object is what allows you to go in and do additional edits um, later on. So if you want to change something you did in Luminar AI, it's not baked in, it's re-editable, which is awesome. Hello, Yvonne, glad you're able to make it today. All right, she didn't, I'm glad you, that was a good workaround for you. Yes, you can work on just one face. So let's do this again using Photoshop. I'm going to go up to my uh, filters and go to Skylum and Luminar AI. And we're gonna do the exact same edits that we just did using Luminar AI as a plugin with Photoshop. So we'll do the first step, which is gonna to be to edit everyone. And then we'll go back into Photoshop, duplicate our layer, and go in and work on just mom. So we're gonna go again to the close-ups templates and brush up. All right, we'll let that load. And then once that's rendered, we'll click over to our edit and we're gonna scroll down and remove this face slimming because we really don't need it. And we're gonna go ahead and reset the body AI because again, we really don't need it. Now let's begin back at face. Face light I think is good, slim face we don't need we're gonna make the eyes brighter on everybody. So I wanna add some additional iris flare, a little extra eye enhancer. Everything else looks lovely. Now let's go down to our skin AI. I am gonna go ahead and turn on skin defects removal. There's not a whole lot there, but there is a tiny little blemish on the little girl's face and it just makes it a little bit less pronounced, but I think that's good. And then we'll bring down the amount of the skin AI because the kids really don't need much at all. So now I would say this image is 90% of the way there. We just wanna do a little bit of extra work with mom's face. 
So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. This is gonna take me back to Photoshop. And let's see, Jerry says, I don't understand why you needed to create the TIFF. So while this is thinking, let me go ahead and address that. If you're working with Luminar AI exclusively, you don't have Photoshop or another layer-based program to work with, what you'll need to do in order to address different people in the image is you need to do your edits that affect everybody, export a copy with those changes baked in, pull that back into Luminar AI, and then you can use your masking tools so those, those changes, the additional changes you make, only affect a single person. At this moment, there's no way inside of Luminar AI to select individuals to edit. I hope that one day that will be added, but for right now, any changes you make in the portrait tools affect everybody in that photo. So if you only want to affect one person, you'll need to export a copy, bring it back in, and then do those edits on that individual person. So hopefully that clears that up for you, Jerry. Um, so couldn't masking be used on the original edit? You could, but that would leave you where you couldn't do any of those tools on the kids. And I wanted to make sure I was able to brighten their eyes a little bit, add a little bit more detail and sparkle to their eyes. And if I had used those masking tools to apply just those changes to mom, I wouldn't have had the option to apply them to the kids. So hopefully that answers your question. All right, so now we have our Luminar AI edit here in Photoshop. I can go ahead and turn that off and back on. Now what I'm gonna do is duplicate this layer. And again, I'm gonna do a Command J to duplicate it. And now I have two layers with my Luminar AI smart filter. I'm gonna take the second one, double click on it, and that's gonna relaunch Luminar AI. And all of my edits, everything that I've done is now going to be available and re-editable. And because I have a copy with my original edits, I can then mask the two together inside of Photoshop. So from here, what I'm gonna do is go back over to edit, and this time paying only attention to mom. We're gonna go down to our portrait tools, and we're gonna to go to skin AI, and we're gonna pull up that amount a little bit higher and make mom look a little bit younger and fresher. We're gonna to go to our face AI and down to our eyes. And I'm gonna pull up that dark circles remover and make her feel a look and feel a little bit more awake. That looks good. And you know, what? on the mouth, I didn't do this in the first version, but I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna add a little bit of lip saturation and lip redness, give her a little bit of lipstick. The kids definitely don't need it, but I think it looks great on mom. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and click apply and we'll do our masking inside of Photoshop. So we'll give that a moment to load up and I'll check the chat and make sure nothing else. All right, looks good in the chat. And this is processing, we'll give it just another moment. And if you have questions as we go along, I'm giving you a couple of different options here of how to do this, whether you have just Luminar AI or if you have Photoshop and can use it as a plugin, both are doable. I think that the Photoshop version is a little easier, but you have to have Photoshop and you also have to know how to use Photoshop. So hopefully this gets you started if you're just learning how to use those tools. Okay, so now we have our original layer. I'm gonna go ahead and turn those two layers off. See, here's our original, here's our first one, and here's our second with edits to mom, but they also affected the kids. So if I want just those edits to affect just mom, I'll go down here and I'm gonna create a layer mask and I'm going to invert that layer mask. So I'm gonna do Command I, and that changes my layer mask to black. And now I'm gonna grab my brush tool using the B key, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm painting with white and paint that in just over her face. So now we're gonna have that effect coming through just on mom's face, and it'll look great. And we'll have made appropriate retouches for everyone in the image. So let's go ahead and turn that off and then back on. And you can see that, that those changes now are only affecting mom. And we can go through and see what we went, came from the first. This is the original and edits to everyone. And then a little bit of extra just for mom. From there, what you can do is save this file. You can save it as a PSD or a TIFF. That'll preserve your layers. It'll preserve your smart objects. So if at any time, you wanna go back in and further edit this, you can do that. So I hope that gives you some ideas of how to work with multiple people in the image. It's a little bit tricky and does require a bit of a workaround, but it does work. So 
I hope that's helpful. Uh, David says, thanks. Appreciate the detailed explanation. Cannot help but feel that if AI had layers like Luminar 4, that this would be possible. You're correct. And if you have Luminar 4, you can make use of those layers to do some similar things. So um, hopefully we get some workarounds and some additional functionality in the future with being able to re retouch individuals in a photo. It is on our feature request list, and I know it's something that's being looked at seriously. So well, who knows what the future will bring. With that, I want to sign off and wish you guys a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for spending some time with me. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you give us a thumbs up here on YouTube, and I will see you guys at the next coffee break. Bye, everyone.